on me, so get up. G6 you are, G2 of you are, still out there. Break, break for a quick radio check, please. This is Mike Zero, Juliet, Charlie Fox. Uh, sorry, who was that a call in there? You very distorted uh, from the uh, G2 ABR. Hello, uh, very good evening. It's Mike Zero, Juliet, Charlie Foxtrot, uh, QRP station. I was just wondering if I could have a quick radio check, please. Mike Zero, Juliet, Charlie Foxtrot listening. G2 ABR, Mike Zero, Japan, Charlie Foxtrot. Uh, thank you very, very much for the report. The name this end is Mark, Mike Alpha Romeo Kilo, and I'm down in Sid Cup in Kent, uh, Juliet Oscar Zero One Bravo Kilo. Uh, thank you very much for the information and the report. Um, uh, I'll give you an idea of what I'm using and why I'm calling you. I'm using one of those Chinese built um, Mu SDX HF transceivers. They're a palm sized multi mode um, eight band transceiver costing less than a hundred pounds. It arrived yesterday from China and uh, this evening I'm just testing it for the very, very first time. Um, I'm putting out about four or five watts of RF into a 90 foot long wire. So, um, really interesting about the possible RF feedback and uh, the noise. There is a possibility the noise could be from my power supply. I'm using a, a home-brewed uh, switch mode power supply. That could be the issue. Not too sure on that. But um, your 5 and 9 plus 10. 5 and 9 plus 10. Uh, I hope that you've got all of that and it wasn't too distorted there, Chris. Uh, back to you. G2 ABR M0 JCF. Japan. Yeah, okay, Mark. Yeah, well, I can't do anything. It's a, uh, a strength wise, you're, you're five and nine. Uh, but I think you have it. Uh, I'm sure it's RS getting back in somewhere. And there's a very, very loud crackling uh, noise as well. And when you're transmitting, uh, it could well be the power supply. Uh, but also, I think you've got a little bit of RF getting back in there as well. Uh, which is making your signal uh, a little bit distorted. Uh, but uh, we're very, very close. Uh, if you're down in Kent, then between you and I, we're uh, just over the water, really. Uh, so maybe uh, uh, just stand by one. Uh, Sam, are you still on frequency? Uh, no, he's gone. Sam's up in uh, near Birmingham, who uh, is a lot further away. I just wonder if he was there, he could have given you a report as well. Okay, Mark, well, uh, that's it from me. And I think there is a bit of RF feedback, and uh, it could well be the power supply as well, but, uh, but no doubt you'll get it sorted. Uh, but strength-wise, it's nine, no problems whatsoever. Okay, back to you, mate. Uh, Mike Zero, Kilo, 
Yeah, G2 ABR, and just a quick correction on the call sign, uh, Chris. It's a Mike Zero Japan Charlie Fox or Juliet Charlie Foxtrot. Um, it's not a problem, though. I really, really do appreciate uh, you giving me this time of the evening as well. Um, it's really nice to know. This is the first time I've ever transmitted with this rig. As I say, they, they fit in the palm of your hand. They are an open source uh, development type rig radio and um rightly or wrongly me using this it is the chinese ripoff um of what is the is the qrp labs um i think it's qcx cw radio with an add-on for ssb um uh you know it's it's really open source it's an sdr receiver and the the output is class e so it's a class e um finals on the uh, you know linear amplifier I'm sure it, it, they're sold as development radios and so I'm sure that you know that I've got some work to do and as I say they are a development radio they're not a, a super duper rig out the box I mean it was a hundred quid for an eight band all mode transceiver that I'm talking to you on as you say yeah you are uh, just across the the Thames estuary from me and uh, we're using probably a little little bit of envis um skip there so but it's really really do appreciate you as i say once again you're coming back to me chris and i know you were going qrt so i'll leave it for there for the moment i could hear sam as well he was five and seven to me a little bit more qsb on his signal uh, the qsb on your signal uh, you're going between sort of five and nine plus ten and uh dropping uh, to, to around five and eight and um i do have a high noise floor this evening on eight meters of course on this radio <laughs> that could be anything but um it's, it's a lovely lovely first opportunity to try this radio out i've made a little video of it i'm going to be sticking it on youtube uh the youtube channel if you should ever want to look for it it's just my call sign it's just m0 jcf um um ham radio is what the youtube channel's called and um I, if with your permission i'll use this little QSO as a uh, demonstration of a uh, very first time i've used this radio as i say there's lots of settings in it i've got to get into it i've got to get involved and um i'm sure i can clean it up quite a lot but uh really pleased with uh, the first contact on it there chris so back to you and i wish you a very very good evening a very best 73 uh g2 abr m0 jcf Yeah, very best wishes and 73 to you and yours and I'll take all that under consideration of uh, using your email address to be a pest in the future, Chris. Now, I've, I've joined the Royal Signals Nets in the past and always good fun, always very welcoming. Have a great evening and all the very best, mate. You just take care, be safe. Bye-bye for now. Mike Zero, Juliet, Charlie Foxtrot now going to uh, just listen for a while in case anyone else has come up on frequency. Chris, I've uh, pre Appreciate the help. Bye bye for now. Yeah, bye bye, Mark. Stay safe. God bless, mate. And uh, thanks a million for the QSB. 
but uh, uh, Mike Zero, a Julia Charlie Fox, Golf Trial for Bravo Romeo. Good night, God bless, mate. Looking at the back of the rig, uh, one of the complaints on this was, um, you know, like, uh, I've seen a video where, you know, buyer beware, and it was um, this power, this power barrel and the microphone um, interfering with each other. Yes, they do. I mean, I, I let's unplug this. There we go. Uh, now using it as just a receiver, obviously. Uh, it uses this uh, classic, uh, where are we, where's me? where's me camera, there we go. It uses the classic bow thing type, um, uh, type of microphone, speaker microphone. So, I mean, you can just plug a microphone and push the talk in there, no problem. Um, and the barrel, well, once again, I never had any problems with the barrel. Now, I wired this barrel up last night. And um, I haven't had any problems. Likewise, um, the RF connector, they give you a BNC. And I've used, I've used a BNC uh, to um, a PL259 or SO259 adapter. So, uh, you know, it, the, these radios are not outrageously expensive Yaesus, Icoms or, you know, Kenwoods. They are these tiny... Uh, little boxes and they're a development radio you know that they're, they're not high end high quality well no that's that's doing it an injustice uh, not high quality the quality of this is very very nice for what i paid i've not opened it up i've not looked at the inside as you'll uh, hear from that um, video you know rf noise not to be unexpected probably you know it's a it's something that um i need to work on it's something that you know that can be uh built upon uh once again uh, we was on 80 meters could it have been um you know noise from my homemade um uh, server power supply now generally i tell everyone these these are rf quiet and they are they are very rf quiet uh when you use them uh, just switching it off there. When you use them on most HF equipment, very quiet. But this isn't typical HF equipment. You know, this is a Chinese-made uh, box based on a, a development-type radio. You know, it is it is what it is. You know, I can't... I can recommend it from... A geek's point of view, I can recommend it from someone who loves to tinker with stuff. And yes, I had a little bit of spare cash to possibly waste in some people's eyes. Uh, for me, you know, you know, I, I, I said this in another video. You know, you can see I, I build and buy and restore old kit, and um, you know, for me, a hundred quid for what's inside this. You know, it is for me is money well spent. So, would I recommend it? Yes, if you're me. Would I recommend it for someone who wants to go like uh, I don't know, expecting high end quality from the get go? Maybe not, because you know, I think it's one of those things you you, you buy it. You use it, you understand how it works, you understand how it comes together, uh, and then you, you build upon it, you develop it, you improve it, you know, you get into the various forums and that, and, and join the crowd. Um, you know, it's, it's not a overly user, user friendly radio because of the menus, etc. Once you get used to the sequences of button pushes and you have to use the menu button, you have to use the exit button, you have to use this button clicks, you know, and then you've got the rotary encoder, etc. You know, lots of things going on. Um, if you're a menu driven radio enthusiast, you might find it quite intuitive. Um, you know, <laughs> this is me. I've I think the the most um the most I get into menu driven is my FT817 and uh, to a certain extent the uh, TS590S but everything else there's not a menu in sight bloody hell there's not even a digital um digital display in sight and not unless you count my homemade one but uh, that's another story 
But uh, yeah, just uh, just an add on to that. You've heard the little cue, so it works. That was five watts, uh, five watts out into a, a ninety foot long wire, and uh, Harridge. I'm in Sidcup, he's in Harwich, so the other side of the Thames Estuary and up the road a bit. Um, not a great distance as the crow flies, um, tens and tens of miles rather than hundreds. But of course we was going via very high angle skip and uh, so probably a round trip of, I don't know, what was it, 800 miles, you know, via the F layer. Um, after the D layer had collapsed, now that the the sun's well set, that that's uh, that's my waffle over. I'll let you you know like uh, judge for yourself. You know, um, I can only I can only recommend this for someone that wants to play about with gadgets and gizmos. Uh, I'll reserve judgment on. It's brilliant. Yeah, buy one, stick it in the car, climb mountains with it. You know. Um, <laughs> I can't recommend that yet because they're the things that I haven't done. First impressions is I think I'm going to enjoy this little radio. Cheers.